So the Raspberry Pi has a boot loader, which will load up the operating system, and it's just kind of the firmware side of the Pi. Now, I know a lot of you may be wondering, if you have a Raspberry Pi, you may be wondering how you update this bootloader, since it doesn't update by default usually. So that's what we are going to be exploring today. This is for non from Super User Projectile, welcome to a video, and today I'm going to show you how to update your Raspberry Pi's bootloader. So here I am on my Raspberry Pi and you can see I have Raspberry Pi OS. So I don't know what all operating systems work um, for doing this bootloader update but I know Raspberry Pi OS works. So you want to open a terminal and I will take it like this so you can see it very easily and so what you want to do is do cd slash lib slash firmware slash raspberry pi slash bootloader ls and so now you can choose one of these to go with. So default is our default one. These will update automatically as far as I know. But then there's the beta ones and stuff like that. But we're going to go into the stable. Now what you want to do is type sudo rpi eprom update dash f then you want to find the file. So I actually need to go here because I didn't ls it. And so you can see right here we have this file. So this is the one that we are going to want to use because it's the latest, but you can really use any of these. But if you go here, what we want to do is specify that file. So you you want to go like this and that is the file we can just auto complete it there and so then when you press enter it will update your bootloader although I have already done this so I'm not going to do this again but then after that you will just close down your terminal you will log out and reboot your Pi and enjoy your new bootloader so these, if you want to see the release notes, I'll make these bigger again. And so actually what I'm going to do is go here and go cat release notes.md. We can look in here and we can see all the release notes for the different bootloaders. So if we go to the latest one, we can see there's an issue, fix occasional reboot, fail. And so there's just, you know, things. If you go and look at all of these, you can tell what has changed. But I had one all the way from September before, which is probably what a lot of you that have pies, um, if you have not done this, you will probably have something like that because it does not update it automatically as far as I know so it's just got the release notes you can look through that so I have I had these right here but I just updated it so there's been a lot of updates since then so I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, subscribe to my channel. This is Super User Projectile. I am Fort Non and we will see you next time.